In this portrait lesson, I'm going to show you the important steps to draw a face looking up. Let's first analyze this reference. I'm using a black marker. I'm going to draw the dotted line. You can see the eyebrow on this side over here. The eyebrows over here. If the face directly frontal and the two eyebrows are supposed to be on the same horizontal line. But when it tilt in the angle, it's no longer to be a straight line. Actually, it's a curved line. I'm going to draw the curved line over here like that. On the corner of the eye and the corner over here, that's supposed to be on the same line like that. Can you see that? Cross over like that and cross over. And this nose and the bottom over here, the bottom over here, also the top over here, the top over here, also following, you see that? That's following the curve. You see the bottom of that. Uh, if you have a marker, you can also draw right on your reference all curve over. They see that this corner of the mouth, this corner of the mouth, you see that? And also following like this, following the mouth, the curve like that. You don't draw it like this, okay? After you see them, you'll be able to draw them. Next, we're gonna talk about the up and down, the center line here in the middle of the ridge, right? The between, this is the ridge over here. We're gonna ignore the nose. The nose is on different plane. We're gonna draw up over here. Can you see that? This is the center of the forehead. Keep going down to the, the middle of the mouth. Coming down. We want to find out the width compared to the height. I'm not sure. I'm going to just play around, find the relationship. I'm going to find it. I don't know how we're going to find it. I have a bamboo stick. So I'm going to try to make a relation between the width to the height. Now you see, this is the width, right? Now I'm going to see maybe from the bottom. Oh, wow. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. It cannot be more perfect. From the bottom of the chin to the hairline. Perfect. Like that. So you just have to play with it. Could be many, many ways to find their relationship. Now I'm going to draw the hairline over here. And so stay here a little bit more on the top, right? Now the hairline is important. Now we're going to see which is the bottom of the chin I'm going to put on. Now let's make it simple. So let's put the chin over there, maybe a little bit bigger if you want to, like that. Roughly, draw the line on the left side over here and draw the head on the right side over there. I don't know. I'm just put it over here for now. The hairline over here, the chin over here. It maybe look very odd at this moment. From here to here, supposed to be equals to from the hairline mm -hmm. to the chin, right? Now I'm going to take a look. I'm going to put the mark. I use vine shackle. It's very easy to uh, erase it. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to rotate this. Oh my God. Am I good? I'm going to move that a little bit more to the right because it looks like the face bumping into the wall. So I'm going to move this a little bit to the right. So the back it will be here like that. So this is your first thing. I'm making sure we don't jump over. We don't do too much and trust the process. Don't trust how you feel at this point, measuring. Very important to find out the proportion because her face turning up. Now the perspective apply to this, to the bottom of the chin compared to the eyebrow and compare to the hairline. 
You can see that there's just a little bit more and more and more going to the bottom. We're going to divide it into three. But the three is just not equal proportion. Over here, one, then two. And you're going to tell me, should they be a little bit more different? Yes. Should the forehead a little bit more lower? Where exactly the middle? I'm going to take a look at the middle point. From here to here, this is right at close to the top of the side of the nose. Double check. One. Where's the middle over here? How can you find it? Is that right? You have to follow through. Now I'm going to take a look over here. Is whether or not that it goes to the top. Wow, that is exactly half. And now I realize that this is wrong. I'm going to erase this. Be right over here. Where is the location of the lip? I'm going to look at the bottom border, okay? The lower border of the lower lip. I'm assuming that would be half from here to there. Not I'm sure. going to check. I'm going to put a mark over here. That's the, always the process. Wow. Ooh, it's it very much the same. Okay. And look like the bottom have a little bit more. The top have a little bit less. You see that? Now I'm going to take a look at, I'm going to put a mark over here. And I'm going to take a look. Uh, you following me over here? And look at that. Oh, now it's perfectly half. I want to move it so the bottom have a little bit more. Check. Yep, this is good. Now that means this is the lower border of the lower lip. Now you can see the top of the upper lip almost half, another half, right? So we're going to double check. Always double check. We'll probably for a little while, you might want to always print the reference. Yes, yeah, a little bit lower than half. And I'm going to put a half over here, a little bit lower than half. That will be, could be here. That will be the upper lip. And I'm going to take a look. When it gets smaller and smaller, your judgment can be better and better. That's as good. And then, and almost lower than half, the upper lip looks like a little bit more. That's is the middle of the mouth. The next thing I also want you to find out, and this looks like one third. Can you see that? One, two, three. One, perfect, and perfect. One, two, three. This is just almost like the sideburn. I'm going to put the little stick over here so you can see it's three. Uh, one, two, three. Perfect. The sideburn, the hair over here. The next thing, you can draw a dotted line. Make sure you look at the reference. So those lines, this line, they are not something that you make up. You have to copy their movement. Take a look at the nose, also coming over here, very much going to the same direction. And seeing that, okay, here we go. Parallel. After you draw those lines, it's going to be very convincing. I'm going to take a look at the mouth. Since this is the middle, uh, there between the two lips, right? I'm going to start over here. See that? A little bit here, like that. And turn it around like that. They are all kind of parallel to all those lines. And I can see the eye. This is about one third still, right? Seeing this. But again, what I'm drawing here is the top of the nostril. We need to draw the bottom of the nostril. That's a little bit lower. I'm going to draw a little bit line over here like this. The curve. This is the one, two, three. That's right in the middle line. And we're going to extend this up over here. 
And you can see that that's the middle of the right eye. Okay, like this. And come back over here. Can you see that from the eyebrow to the bottom of this is divide this into three and the eye line is right on the one third from the top. It's always good to have a stick so you can see the three, right? So here you go. Now I'm gonna take a look, that's three. That's good. One, two, three. Can you see that? One, two, three. So that means this is the eye line. Turn, that's good. And turn, it's the eye right here. Right in, in the middle of the eye, like that. When you get to this point, you already kind of have the sense of the head turning up. A few minutes ago, you don't have the sense. The suggestion line making your mind align with the movement. That's very important. Now we need to find out. Okay. Now we have this over here. We need to find out. Where is the, the side of the nose? And where is the side of the ear? Right? And then we can start drawing. Now I'm going to dress up some of the thing over here. And the sideburn over here, a little bit darker. I want to invite you to come to learn portrait drawing and painting with me on Patreon. I'm looking forward to see you in our live lessons.